Financial Statement Horizontal Analysis Problem 1. The following information is a summary of information presented on the financial statements of a company on December 31st, 20X9. So the information is broken up by account, 20X9 information, 20X8 information. Net sales revenue in 20X9 is $607,000 and 20X8 is $503,000. Cost of goods sold in 20X9 is $457,000. Cost of goods sold in 20X8 is $403,000. Gross profit in 20X9 is $150,000. Gross profit in 20X8 is $100,000. Selling expenses in 20X9 is $56,000. Selling expenses in 20X8, $52,000. Net income before income tax expense in 20X9 is $94,000. Net income before income tax expense in 20X8 is $48,000. Income tax expense in 20X9 is $37,000. Income tax expense in 20X8 is $20,000. Net income in 20X9 is $57,000. Net income in 20X8 is $28,000. With respect to net sales revenue, a horizontal analysis reveals what? We're looking at the horizontal analysis, specifically related to net sales revenue. Now horizontal analysis, the analysis of increases and decreases in the amount and percentage of comparative financial statement items. That's what horizontal analysis is all about. We're looking at one year to the other year. We're looking at 20X9 to 20X8. Specifically, as I mentioned, we're focusing on net sales revenue. That's this line, net sales revenue. So we're focusing on the 20X8 and 20X9 item numbers for net sales revenue, those two numbers. Now, each item on the most recent statements is compared with the same item on one or more earlier statements in terms of determining the amount of increase or decrease or looking at a percentage. So we're gonna do both of those. We're gonna look at the amount of increase, decrease, as well as the percentage. So the way we do this, we take the newer year minus the older year, and that gives us our change in that amount. So here, the newer year is 20x9 minus 20x8 amount, and that's going to be $607,000 minus 20x8 number, which is $503,000. We're gonna get that amount, when we subtract, we get the difference, which equals $104,000. Now this question just asks us to determine what it reveals. We can either look at the difference in the amount, which is $104,000. Make sure that's clearly a five there. Let's see, five, 503,000. So 104,000 is the change. Also, we need to determine the percentage. The percentage, what you do is you take the change, you take the change over the older year, or the older amount. So we're gonna take the change over the 20X8 number so we take 104,000 divided by 503,000 and we get a percentage and that percent equals 20.68%. So looking at the two items here, we've got the change when doing horizontal analysis of the net sales revenue and we've got the change um, as an, sorry, I should say, we have a change in a dollar amount, 104,000, change as a percentage, 20.68%. When comparing the statements, the earlier statement is normally used as the base year, and that's important to remember. The base year is the one that we're using here when we're looking at that percentage calculation. And remember, we take the newer minus the older to get the change amount, and again, to also get the percentage.